This meeting is being recorded. Great. So uh, again, uh, with your permission, uh, we would like to record this meeting for uh, being able to share this internally only. Yeah, sure. Uh, again, thank you very much for uh, being able to make it. Um, I apologize in advance for my very, very poor lightning. I hope that you are able to hear me perfectly fine. Yeah, I, I hear you well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I'm very happy. Uh, actually, it's such a great pleasure that uh, we have so, such talented people within this project. Uh, I was very glad when I heard all of these nice things that you have been doing. Uh, well, apart from the project, of course, which is also something, uh, you know, among all these things that you are doing. Actually, I would very much appreciate if you could, uh, you know, briefly introduce yourself again. Uh, first, by, stay, by sharing with us uh, your name, uh, what do you do, uh, and uh, how, you know, how did you... Uh, you know, acquire this wish to uh, to follow this project. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Anna Miklasevich. I'm Ukrainian artist based in Slovenia. I live in Ljubljana. Um, I'm a painter. Uh, my main topic is portraits, mainly women portraits. Um, also, I'm uh, painting instructor. I teach adult people uh, how to paint, how to create their first uh, oil paintings. Um, I'm mentoring uh, artists who want to transform their hobby to art business. Um, I'm a YouTuber as an art business uh, instructor. Um, also, I am vegan and marathoner. <laughs> I think it's yeah. Um, most 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 parts I, I can share. Uh, I'm really happy to um, be included in this course. I have not finished it yet, <laughs> but anyway, I'm very inspired of the community after our previous our first uh, meeting, um, and I'm very inspired that. There are a lot of people who are more talented than I am, more uh, even smarter. They do a lot of activities. Those who just inspired me. I think I'm uh, I'm very active person. But when I see when I saw on, on Friday what those people do, <laughs> I thought, wow, <laughs> it's great, really. So community is very is it what yeah. It's very good for me, so I'm happy to join. Uh, now that you mentioned, uh, what, does this, what does the community mean to you? I mean, um, of course, it's not about you know us as individuals, but it's also about how we engage with the whole community, with a group of people, and especially a group of people that you know share the same uh, crave for art. Um. You know, I'm more practical person uh, because I'm a painter. <laughs> so um, as an example, I can share my experience with my art community of Ukrainian artists. Um, you know that uh, now it is a war in the Ukraine. So um, uh, during maybe second week of the war, I created a art uh, business community for artists, Ukrainian artists. To support them. Um, I asked myself, what can I do to help? And I asked myself, what is my superpower? So what, what can I do to help Ukraine now? And I understood that my uh, like superpower is my experience because I've been working more than 18 years for now. And my superpower is ability to bring people together. So I created this art community and my aim is to help these people, uh, provide them 
all kind of support to keep creating and selling their art during war and after war. So I understood that, yeah, we are, we are really shocked. We don't know what to do. But if we keep creating, it means we have tomorrow. And uh, for artists who faced with challenges, not only war as a terrible thing, but also with practical um, problems like um, logistic. When, when artists sell an, a painting during the war, uh, he or she, they don't know what to do, how to send it, how to ship it. And they, they had a lot of questions and I, I, I don't know the, all the answers for these questions, but I can bring people together. One person know, knows one thing, the second person knows the second thing, and we together, we have community to solve problems and um, yeah, problems uh, every day. So this is like practical community, you know? So for me, community is like, is something that can make difference. Well, if, if I may, I would like to share with you um, my gratitude for sharing such a thing. I mean, it's remarkable how uh, resilient is the Ukrainian community, not only in Greece, which is actually my engagement, but also I can tell for Ljubljana and it's remarkable how uh, you have managed to uh, turn something negative to something positive by uh, using the only weapon that you have, your knowledge and your experience. So uh, from my point of view, I'm just very grateful that you are uh, in this position to share with us and inspire us on, uh, on your work. Uh, so. You know, given that this uh, circumstance of the war, it's very devastating for the people uh, from Ukraine and especially, you know, the people that leave Ukraine and uh, seek shelter and uh, safety to other countries. My question is, uh, is, is there a meaning of art, especially in such difficult circumstances and how can art contribute to community empowerment, especially right now, focusing on the people from Ukraine. How can art help in sustaining, you know, uh, a good and a, and a positive feeling for people that have lost their, not their country, but their home right now? Um, first of all, I think it's, it's practical thing when if you are a painter, you used to paint every day, not every day, but you used to have this, you know, the smell and this feeling of paint. And when you lose another thing important in your life, but when you have this paint, something that you had before, you can use it. It's very important for artists like healing. Second, uh, I think for every artist, maybe not for, Every but most of artists want to sell the art. They want to see that somebody, uh, somebody can pay for this. Want to pay. So this is very important to see this, like every that our work um, has sense for the, this is practical things. For global co community, for people, for Ukrainian uh, community, what I see, as, uh, and I told, I'm, I'm telling this to my artists every day that why we should keep creating. Because Im just imagine when um, there are a lot of posts in Instagram and in Facebook, people are sharing, and uh, this also helps, and a lot of people take as an example, as a picture, paintings. They're, yes, they can take photographs of war, and this is terrible. When we see, I, sometimes I can't see these photos. But when we see um, 
maybe not so positive paintings, but something that gives us hope for tomorrow. Every post that people share with their words, but with this painting, it makes also photographs, it's also art. Yeah, we, we have a great, uh, we have great um, examples of photographs by great photographers, not only Ukrainian, but from all over the world. And when we see not, when we don't read even, uh, only text, we can see and imagine that if creative people keep creating, and other people who maybe not so creative, creative, they also should keep fighting because every person have, yeah, it, it, it like own language, not only English, uh, Ukrainian, English, and so language of expression. So if if artists keep creating, world will continue. I think. Well, this is a very, very strong and positive message. My question now is, could you see Artis as project as an opportunity for you to support your artwork and promote it? Um, I'm sure. Uh, first of all, what I saw on um, our meeting Friday, that, what, that we have as a community, art is, not, is us, um, uh, we we have brainstorming opportunity that it, it is very good sometimes when I work alone a lot of artists work work alone you just talking with yourself sometimes <laughs> it's very hard but when when I have an opportunity to talk with another artist another creating a creative uh, person uh, it's very big uh, like it, it's progress, and uh, also I want to say say that uh, work of creative people in in the world is not very easy to to sell this, to monetize this, to have yeah because we have we, we need money to to support our work, and I I'm telling my artists that collaboration is our opportunity to go forward we should remember yes we a lot of us are introverts we we want to have a studio to close the do door and sit and just painting but when we go outside also in zoom we see other people and sometimes uh, not sometimes very often a lot of bright thoughts that i just can't couldn't even imagine that uh, I can do this. I receive from community. So I see uh, this opportunity, yes. Well, from my perspective, uh, I'd just like to share once again that uh, uh, my team, we and we as a Greek team, the Art and Action Network, we are at your disposal for supporting your work and we will be very, very glad to contribute by any means. Uh, I believe you have already mentioned some keywords such as cooperation. So uh, I hope that we elaborate more on this and I hope that we are able to uh, help you on uh, thriving through this uh, project and uh, through the opportunities that will derive out of it. I'd like to thank you very much for this uh, kind honor and this privilege uh, to talk with me and uh, to give us this interview. Uh, with your permission, I would like to uh, cease the recording. Yeah, th thank you for having me. I'm very glad. Thank you. All right.